we are going to put aside the post-match WWE unveiling of Ronda Rousey in exchange for that incredible first ever women's Royal Rumble match. It earned the main event slot over the men's Rumble and Triple Threat title match, and it lived up to the hype. With Asuka's meteoric rise through NXT, incredible championship matches, and debut on the main roster, it only felt right to have her be the last woman standing. Now, she gets to choose which champion she will face at WrestleMania. The match was huge for other women on the roster as well. Sasha Banks lasted nearly 55 minutes. That could go a long way to cementing her place as one of the toughest wrestlers in the division. Natalia had a great showing as well, eliminating legends Michelle McCool and Beth Phoenix, as well as Nia Jax, who many thought could win the whole thing. So when she got the chance, we had to ask her what the opportunity was like. She told us last Sunday, being a part of the first ever Women's Royal Rumble match in the WWE, it was surreal because we were competing with women from the past, women from the present, women from NXT. It was just this incredible group of women coming together, empowering each other, and competing for a chance to perform at WrestleMania and have a title match at WrestleMania. It was just this huge opportunity for all of us to prove ourselves. You can read much more with Natalia and Lana in the article below. Chuck Carroll asked them a lot of great questions, including their thoughts on Ronda Rousey's WWE debut and the reaction it received. Matt Yuris for CBS Local Sports.